Hey, good morning, it's Owen Bigland. This is the Inside Edge video blog. Well, we're coming at, up to the end of summer 2015. We're in late August now. So I wanted to do this blog, as we all know, if you've been reading the newspapers and the news, uh, the real estate market in the Lower Mainland is, is ultra hot. We've had uh, record-breaking, uh, 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 another record-breaking summer here. Um, prices are, are way up, probably depends on what you're buying, but uh, detached in the, in the last 12 months is probably up 11 or 12%. Uh, townhouses seven eight percent condos probably five to six percent those are just general numbers I'm throwing out there um, it's funny inventory levels are some of the lowest I've ever seen uh, good homes that are going on the market now are generally selling very close to full ask or over asking multiple offers selling in a week maybe two weeks at most and probably be average days on market for a good quality uh, uh, home um, but I wanted to, to tell people, uh, and especially all, I've had a lot of first time buyers, this has been a record breaking uh, uh, spring and summer for me personally, as well as my brokerage, McDonald Westmar. So I've had a lot of uh, listings that I've sold, a lot of them have been to first time buyers. Uh, young people in their in their 30s uh, buying their first condo or buying their first townhouse and uh, so I wanted to, to give you guys a bit of a heads up here and for all my other viewers here so uh, uh, not that I have a crystal ball I've always said here that no one's gonna be able to tell you what real estate's gonna do in the short term anyone that does tell you with it, it tries to predict it is just guessing at it uh, and, and you know they all bets are off but in the long term I have blogged here over the years that in the long term, real estate's going to go up. Uh, when you look at it from 8, 10, 20 year increments, uh, the price you pay today uh, is going to be two to three fold 20 years from now. That I can guarantee, but in the short term, all bets are off. So what I'm going to tell you today, uh, here's my little crystal ball and I want you guys to be prepared for this. Starting this fall, October, November, December, get ready for a whole bunch of doom and gloom to come out into the newspapers. Uh, cover of the Vancouver Sun, cover of the province, Globe and Mail, I can see it now. It's going to say uh, cracks starting to form in Vancouver housing market. Get ready for the crash. Uh, bubble getting ready to burst and it will show a picture of a balloon with a pin getting ready to go into it. Now, for me, I just laugh at this stuff. Most experienced uh, uh, realtors and uh, most uh, homeowners that have owned their home for 10, 15, 20 years will also get a little bit of a chuckle out of this thing as well. But uh, this is what's going on right now in the newsrooms of these newspapers. They're calling in their writers for their weekly meeting and the editor is telling them, listen, this Vancouver housing market is it's just crazy. Prices are through the roof. We've got bidding wars. We've got uh, uh, you know, mansions going up and tearing down old homes. And we've got Chinese buyers buying up everything. Uh, it's got to end pretty soon. This is crazy. So I want you guys, you reporters, over the next few months, I need you to get out there and start looking for some cracks in the armor. Because nothing lasts, and he's right, the, the real estate doesn't go up forever. We're always going to get a breather and a correction. We get five to 10% corrections, uh, we should get three of those every 10 years or so. So we're due for one. But I want you reporters to get out there and get me some data that's showing that this market is inflated. It's a balloon and it's gonna, and it's gonna start to uh, uh, recede very quickly. So the reporters are gonna all go out and they're gonna go through all the data and they're gonna be able to find something for sure. Uh, something like, you know, average days on market for September are two days longer than average days on market that for May. Uh, or the average uh, uh, price for a detached home has actually gone down in the last month uh, a quarter of 1%. Anything. So the reason I'm going with this blog is for you first time home buyers that have just bought your house and let's face it, you've bought now at the top of the market. Somebody has to. Markets go up, they go down, um, but, uh, but you, you've probably got some doubts that, uh, you know, hey, we paid top dollar for this unit. And you're, this fall, you're going to be waiting in line at the Safeway and you're going to see on the province there at the checkout stand, you're going to see this bubble title on the cover. Uh, what I'm telling you to do is just look at it, remember what I'm telling you, and uh, just chuckle to yourself. Uh, don't listen to it. Uh, this is what sells newspapers. I've seen this cycle over the last 25 years. It never ends. Markets go up, they get hot for a couple of years, uh, all the doom and gloomers go quiet. Just on a side note, 
back in 2012 and 2013 when the markets were, uh, when 2012 especially when we had about an 8% drop, boy I was getting a lot of criticism on my YouTube blog and they were syndicating my blogs, uh, how the crash was coming. It's funny, now I, uh, I don't hear from any of those blogs anymore. Most of them are shut down uh, because the market's been on fire, uh, just like I was predicting in 2012, that it'll turn and the market will go back up again. It always does. Uh, history will repeat itself. Um, but all those doom and gloomers are gone. But listen, eventually they're going to come back. And I think they're going to come back this fall, this winter, early 2016. We're going to start to get interest rate uh, talk again about maybe finally increasing the interest rates. And you're going to start to see these doom and gloom articles coming out in the province, the Globe and Mail, the Vancouver Sun. So if you're a young viewer, you just bought a place this spring or summer, what I'm telling you is just ignore it, laugh to yourself, and move on and pay for your milk. Um, this is, time and time again, this is what happens. Cycles go up and down. Now listen, I'm telling you as well that eventually we will get a cooling in the Vancouver real estate market. It's as sure as we're going to get summer next year. Uh, eventually this market will cool. But if you bought your home properly, if your realtor has coached you properly on what you're buying, you need a roof over your head, you were renting, it's certainly much better than renting, and you've got a long-term horizon, you're going to keep that condo or that townhouse or that house for at least 8 to 10 years. Watch my earlier video blogs on it. If you've got an 8 to 10 year horizon, you're going to do absolutely fantastic. Tune out all this negative news that's just around the corner. I can guarantee this is what's going to happen in the fall because I've seen it over and over and over again. It's funny, I had a call last week, I won't name the newspaper, they called me and they were already fishing for these stories. He calls me up and he goes, you know, we'd like your, some, your opinion on the Vancouver housing market. Sure, what do you want to know? Well, we want to know, do you think, you know, things are overheated and then there's going to be a bubble soon and we're going to see price reductions. And I had to laugh at him, go back to my earlier blogs because they called me on this before. I tell them the same thing. I have no clue what the market's going to do short term. Nobody does. The only thing I predict is long term. And if a young guy buys a house today, keeps it for 8 to 10 years, he's going to do fantastic. Not to mention the fact it's his capital gains, it's tax free, it's his principal residence. And rents these days in Vancouver are almost at what it's going to cost you to support a mortgage. So who cares if the market goes down 10% next year? You need a roof over your head. Just buy it, live in it, enjoy it. Let time and compounding do the rest. But get ready for the doom and gloom. It's coming this fall and this winter. I can almost guarantee it because the, these reporters are already circling and trying to get some sort of kink in the armor here. But on the other note, remember, markets will take a correction. If we do get an interest rate hike, I've said all along, it will cool the housing market. Now, if you're living at home in your parents' basement, you're not paying any rent, hey, it's up to you. If you want to wait a year or two, maybe the interest rates are going to go up and the prices are going to go down. But another thing to keep in mind, let's say interest rates go up 1%. I'm going to say on a $400,000 condo, that's probably going to knock $20,000. It's going to go from four hundred dollars to three eighty dollars if we get about a 1% increase in, uh, in the mortgage rates. But also keep in mind, the rub is that 1% added to your financing over 20, amortized over 25 years is probably going to add fifteen dollars or $20,000 to your overall financing cost. So there's a bit of a rub there. Anyways, prepare for it. When you see it at the checkout stand, just laugh it off. I'm Owen Bigland. As always, thanks for watching. You can always reach me, Owen at OwenBigland.com. Thanks for watching.